guys this is jesse from itscremoise.com and in this video i'll be showing you how to enable and disable the linux subsystem in chrome os so first and foremost you want to go down here and go right jump right to your settings and see right on the left panel here click on linux better so i already have linux installed on the system the linux subsystem sub subsystem installed on this laptop already so i'm going to go ahead and remove it just click the arrow so, this, so for, future, for future reference just in case you already have linux installed and you do want to um, reinstall it or for whatever reason um, the system is corrupted right you can go ahead and back up your files for later restore just in case you want to power wash your Chromebook because there are situations where, where your system might be faulty um, maybe corrupted not necessarily faulty but you get the you get the idea another option for backing up your system files your, your Linux files is right in file manager go to the Linux directory and right in the Linux directory you find your Linux files so I have nothing here because there's nothing here so you can, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that and so we're gonna go ahead and remove Linux out of this that's gonna be done in a little bit So let's go ahead and turn on. So if you've never installed Linux on your Chromebook before, this is the first thing you see when you come here. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. It's gonna install. So the install process take around I mean usually around two or three minutes on the best days. Now you have to factor in network speed and you know like etc um so i'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and start it back once the install is complete oh we might as well just wear it out let's see if we can wear it out and you can just jump <laughs> right through it um it is just weird out In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and turn on the notification bell icon. And once the install is complete, the first thing you get is the Linux terminal. And pretty cool, right? So you can use comments like this. To get like the basic details of your system so this your name that you are gives you the kernel so basically that's the kernel version right and if you know that if you want to get a um the details of the entire system they should give you the details of the linux subsystem <laughs> 